Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Nope, it's the human fly. A photographer captured these dramatic images of Norwegian daredevil Thor Alex Capshell as he conquered the Chrysler building Tuesday afternoon. Armed with nothing more than a multicolored parachute and sheer determination, Thor made his death-defying plunge 61 stories into the crowded canyons of Midtown Manhattan. I just seen a guy coming down. He was landing. He was coming towards us in a parachute. Thousands of New Yorkers, like Pepsi delivery man John Corcoran, witnessed the lunchtime spectacular. But if they had seen Thor's eye view as he dove towards them, they'd likely have lost their lunches. Take a heart-stopping look at what Thor saw. 61 stories straight to the cold, hard pavement. A leap from the famous eagle soaring to the street below and into a waiting cab. He simply responded with a smile and a wave of his hand, and he was gone. Robert Harris works on the 61st floor and thought his eyes were deceiving him when he peered out the window and saw the 32-year-old balancing on the Silver Eagle. He said no words to me at all. That could be because of Thor's intense concentration. He knows what he's doing, a veteran of 210 jumps, including the Eiffel Tower in July and New York's other Gothic skyscraper last Saturday. Thor and a friend leaped from the 86th floor observation deck of the Empire State Building. Thor reportedly said that was a more difficult jump than the Chrysler building because turbulence pushed his chute from side to side. And even with a high performance chute, you have to be really on your toes. And Owen Quinn should know. You might call the 57 year old the John Glenn of base jumping. These are pictures of his legendary 1975 jump off the World Trade Center, making his the first non suicide jump off a skyscraper. I said, wow, you know, I've jumped out of planes lower than this. And this looked pretty inviting. It's an amazing sight. A daredevil in broad daylight leaping off the world's most famous landmarks, plunging hundreds of feet into oncoming traffic, then making a quick getaway. Who is he? Thor Alex, better known as the Human Fly. On this day, stunned onlookers watch in awe as he and a partner dive off New York's Empire State Building. <laughs> With a body camera rolling, the pair takes a death-defying 1,054-foot leap. It's a stunt that would capture headlines here and make Thor a household name in his native Norway. He became a media magnet, but Thor would speak only to Extra and share with us his remarkable home videos of his illegal jumps. What does it feel like to jump off a building? Well, that's uh, fantastic. It's hard to explain. You just have to, you have to do it to understand it. It feels like someone just grabs hold of you and it pulls you real fast down to the ground. The 32-year-old skydiver came to New York City to fulfill a dream. After four years of jumping off buildings around the world, Thor was ready for the big time. In July, he dove off the Eiffel Tower in Paris, dropping close to 1,000 feet. But that was just a warm-up for the congested and challenging New York City skyline. For a base jumper, this is like coming to heaven. So I really enjoy New York. It's great. A few weeks ago, Thor arrived in New York City with some friends to take on the world-famous Empire State Building. Once there, some tense moments. Would Thor be able to bypass security with his parachutes disguised as tents placed into white bags? Turn the camera off, please. Security tells his friend to turn off a camera, but lets the white bag sail right through. And in minutes, the pair is on the 86th floor in a gift shop, hastily reassembling their gear for the big jump. They rush to the observation deck, wearing what looks like large backpacks. As Thor steps over a guardrail, another friend with a camera rushes the crowd. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse, excuse. He's about to capture an incredible moment, but security has just caught up with the would-be jumpers. Let's go. Over. We got parachutes. Thor decides quickly it's either now or never. Ready, set, see ya! Time almost stands still as the pair leaps into the sky. Suddenly, Thor's camera goes dead, and there's trouble in the air. When the parachute opened, it started really rocking back and forth. The turbulence and the wind was pretty scary. Still, Thor manages to land safely and takes a subway back to his hotel. As news of that stunt spreads across the city, 
Thor is preparing for an even more challenging feat, the Chrysler Building. More challenging because Thor wants to leap off one of the metallic eagles jutting from the building's 61st floor. With his camera rolling, Thor sneaks into a construction zone on the 65th floor. But how will the Norwegian get down to the eagles four floors below? Thor unravels a fire hose, secures it to a beam, and throws it out a window for his dangerous descent, knowing full well his life is on the line. If you do one mistake, then you probably die. The sound you hear is Thor's hands being burned by the thick fire hose. Once on the platform, someone spots Thor and startles him. Did you call the security? Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. Did you call the security? Thor doesn't wait for an answer. Risking his life and possibly that of others, he takes the plunge, descending at 60 miles an hour before his chute opens. The view from his body cam is surreal. His legs look as if he's sitting in an imaginary chair. He sails through midtown Manhattan. But the incredible 46-second journey turns dangerous as heavy traffic looms. In an instant, Thor makes the split-second decision to drop down at a red light. You saw a change where yeah. I saw the traffic stood still, so then I just decided, decided real fast where to land. Unbelievably, Thor lands just feet from a stopped truck. Also waiting in traffic is a police cruiser. But before Thor can be nailed for this illegal move, he's off, hauling in his parachute and frantically flagging down a cab. He instructs the cabbie to take him back to his hotel as sirens wail in the background. But Thor escapes undetected, and when he meets up with friends, he gets a hero's welcome. With only a couple of rope burns, he's managed to achieve a lifetime goal and create mayhem.